Hey everybody, this is Lee with the Creative Aging Art Program with Arts Council of Oklahoma City and welcome to the first video during our online video sessions. Um, today we're going to do a simple pen and ink fish drawing and yes, it is really simple. Basically what you need, uh, materials, number two pencil and I'm going to use an ultra fine sharpie. Um, and then you can also use a fine line, which is a little bit thicker later. So, but if you have, and this is um, heavyweight sketch paper, but if you have a felt tip pen and copy paper, that'll work too. The main thing is just I didn't want it to bleed through to the other side. So we're going to get started and here we go. move this stuff out of the way okay so we're also going to go over some cross hatching just as a reminder and hatching and stippling which basically is uh, any of this stuff on here so and what you might want to do first is if you're feeling a little rusty just grab a piece of paper and practice doing some lines. So if you just are wanting to do some hatch marks, that's just straight lines. And then of course cross hatching is if you're going to do a diagonal across it, or you can do straight across. Basically we're going to have fun today and this pen is moving out. So um, today we're also just going to have fun. We're going to do simple shapes in there, just and I chose fish because fish are kind of fun. And what I did is I went online and found some just black and white line drawings of fish that I liked the outline. And I have some other ones today that I'm going to show you just for examples. But so like I was saying, just get your pen out. And like these little dots, this is called stippling. And of course you can do just scribbling to fill it in, to create some texture and value. We've got some diamonds, like little squiggles. This is kind of anything goes today. So it's just gonna be fun. And you can do short lines, big funky lines, whatever you're feeling. This is supposed to be fun. And look, the, you know, fish has a crazy eye, which crazy eyes are good. So if there's also a fish shape you love, or you want to make one up, great. So what I have already done is I took a few examples of fish to kind of, so here's an angel fish and I just flipped them around to do this. So you're gonna start your drawing just by sketching out a fish in pencil, okay? And this does not have to have all of the information in it. You're gonna have fun with your pen to fill that in. Because once you draw the outline of the fish, you're going to take your pen and we're going to outline it just so that, just so we can get started. Okay. And this does not have to be perfect. So if your hand shakes a little bit, no problem. And if you feel more comfortable using a fatter pen, feel free. I just kind of like starting out with something thin because then you can always make it thicker later, but when you use a fat pen, you can't take it back. So, and you know, while you're doing your outline, you can kind of start thinking about how you want to fill it in. And like I said, if you want to make up your own fantastical fish, feel free. And you can make your fish as elaborate as you want or just as simple. This one I thought was kind of a pretty simple shape. See if you, you know start with the basics and then you can add the extra stuff in here. <laughs> Does it not really thin? I'm not really sure what that is. So and then this guy I thought was kind of fun to have some stripes so And take your time. I know I'm zooming through here because I've already drawn mine, but. And then don't get bogged down in the shape of the fish. You know, we, you have an eraser, you can use an eraser to erase, but just really kind of have fun with this and just 
get the basic parts in. You know, you can have gill. You certain they don't even have to be totally realistic. It's fine. This is just for fun today to kind of get you all started and back in the back in the groove. And I just made him look surprised. Hello. So what I want to, and you can erase your pencil lines or not. So we're just going to keep on going. This one I thought, and I kind of like just going on the fly. I thought, you know, this would be kind of fun to do some circles. So you don't have to see how I'm just kind of doing these are just kind of like spirals and I'm filling up the space. This is just for some visual interest. And I'll do one here, uh, another one in a minute that's a little more straightforward, kind of fish-like with value and shading. More like that. But this is, I kind of wanted to have one that was a lot of fun. And so, see, this is just, you're just kind of doing it on the fly. And I know there are some of you out here who are like, where's my ruler and where's my exact measurement this is to help get you to loosen up just have some fun fish are always interesting and weird things but see look this is already creating an interesting pattern so i like the idea of and then if there's something that you don't like that's okay keep going and part of this project too to kind of get everyone back into the swing of things is just to embrace the mistake you know sheila and i like to say because once you get the basics in we're just going to fill it in with interesting shapes and textures with your pen and some line work and if you go oh my gosh i just messed it up i don't like that then guess what add to it so yeah and I hope everyone's doing all right out there and, you know, staying busy. I imagine you guys are reading some books, <laughs> having some fun. Hopefully you guys are getting to play some cards. But this is just, so you can see here what I've got. I've got the basic shape of the circles I want to put in, but then I can go back in if I want to, like say, I can go down here and add some little stripes. These are just like little short lines. And you don't have, I'm just kind of doing it sort of fast, but just take your time. This is supposed to be fun. Like this guy has lots of stripes and this one has weird squiggles. And I think I made this one look kind of like flames. So and see how I've accidentally gone out of line? No big deal. We just keep going. And if you want later on, we can take a thicker pen. Wherever I set it, right here. This one can be, you know, this. See, this one has the nice thin outline. This one has the fat outline, so. See, we're giving this guy vis visual interest. And then you can also kind of add some color in the eye if you like. He looks a little less surprised, but maybe he looks a little more surprised. <laughs> so just kind of play around with it. He looks kind of happy. And then you can even make him look happier. Aww. So today is just about just not worrying. Just kind of going with the flow. Sheila would not like that scratching sound of the uh, pen on the paper. Goodness. Looks like it's broken. So. Yeah. Hopefully you can't hear that too much over the video. But maybe you can. So you're just kind of adding... And there's no right or wrong way to do this. There's, you can just do, there's no, I should say there's no wrong way to do this because there really isn't. It's just, all of it is good. Ooh, except the sound of that pen. <laughs> and see, I'm just using little circles down there. And then you can always go back in and 
just kind of make some center dots, you know, make it a little darker if you want to. Or not. I know this might not, this is a little different having to watch this, so, versus just but you all are you already got you all know how to do this already so you can just jump in and go along so Ooh. let's see how I set my other pins okay this pin is a little obnoxious, so let's see if I can find another one that's not quite but old, so wrestling with plastic. Let's see. So so see now in here I'm still kind of doing the circular motion, but I'm not I'm just kind of keep going. So you can see, he's kind of looking like a happy fantasy fish. So if I want to add some of these lines on the tail here, can and then remember if you want to use some directional lines, see like, oops, I messed that one up. That's okay. I'm going to keep going back over it. So if you want it to not seem as visually flat, then add a little bit of a curve to it. And if this is the center, then I need to kind of come in here and kind of go over that and just kind of fill in where I kind of whoops and just keep going. And then you can go, wow, that looks kind of furry. <laughs> and then do something else. So, so then these, we can do some cross etching, which is kind of cross contouring. If you are Bending it, curving it to kind of give it a little more of a three-dimensional look to it. So it's not as visually flat. And basically, today what you're doing is just you're just kind of getting back into the drawing aspect of things and just kind of having fun and just kind of feeling it as you go. So sometimes the less thinking, the better, because sometimes when we think about something too much, then we just go, Whoa, what do I do? And you just jump in and you just need to jump in and start. So see now that kind of looks like it's wavy a little bit. He's really flat here, but he, he's a little 3D here. So he's a two dimensional, three dimensional fish. <laughs> so, and then yes, you can tell me I'm bad at jokes. That's okay. So, see, I'm just kind of going in here and seeing what looks interesting. So I'm just kind of creating shapes as I go. I'm just kind of flowing and going. And you can kind of let go a little bit, because not everything you're going to do are you going to love it, but just take your, just kind of slow down and... Just kind of see what you like, and then you can kind of repeat what you like. See, this is a little more interesting than the tail, so then we can kind of go back in and do something different in here. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. And you can repeat some of your same patterns. Like, you know, we did, I did cross-hatching in this one in multiple places, so then it kind of keeps some consistency. When it's just kind of a wild fish. Yeah, he has an identity crisis, I think, because he's doing a little bit of everything. And what I like is if you want to have something that looks kind of black, I like the idea of taking the small pen and going over it multiple times because it creates, you know, a denser black but it's not so solid where it flattens it out see like on this one this is just a solid pin so it's filled in and it is flat visually flat compared to when you still have white showing through from your 
from your little pen. I just think it's more interesting. Now, see, the tail is kind of coming together. It just is kind of an interesting bit of different shapes. And so what I can do is, since this is really kind of different than everything else, I can find another place in the fish to do this so that it just doesn't seem completely random. But it can be totally random if you want it to be. This is kind of like zen doodling where you're just mark making and doing different shapes and just kind of zoning out and having fun. So see if I want to go in and kind of make more little strike things and I'm just going to Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. So what I can do is I can set this guy aside. This just and so I in just a second, but you get the idea. So then if I do circles over here, create that same effect as the the center one then oh, we'll have some a little more cohesive stuff than just a hodgepodge so but part of it too is I just kind of wanted to show you the different ways that you can draw this because you can do a little bit of you can do anything So see now it looks like he's coming together a little bit. So we can do some circles here, a little bit on the face, but we don't want to crowd his eyeball too much, or you can. So, yeah. And then we can just start adding some other lines. Then, just for consistency, I want to kind of keep, just for my own, because that looks a little bit of a mess. But then, too, what you can do is go back in and change some of the lines so that it doesn't pour pin. So, and then what well, we can do a little stippling like I was showing you earlier. Just little dots. You can fill things in completely or not. But if this hurts your hand, don't do it. Because I know some of you, your hands bother you, so don't worry. I almost put an eyebrow on the fish. You can certainly do that if you want, but... I'm just going to get a little shading. So, this obviously is a departure from reality, so just... <laughs> no fun. But see, this is just all a buildup of ink. So this takes time. So don't worry that you're not done in five minutes because it's this is not something that you can finish in five minutes. And the longer you do it, the more comfortable you get with what you want your design to look like. Because this is just... Uh, just simple patterns, simple shapes. You all can do circles and squiggles and stripes. This is kind of having fun. Hmm. Well, let's see. I think we kind of need to come in here and do something with the tail to kind of... So sometimes if you've done something where you're really not sure what you did or why, then you can kind of go in and just keep going over it with the pen. And kind of change it into what you like better or just give it some other interest. So, and then... Because see, I still think this is more interesting than if I were just to have filled this in with just solid black. Huh. Okay. So, you get the you get the point on this one, okay? This is just kind of the. This is just a highly graphic fish. So we can add a few, let's say we're just going to add a few circles in this area. But what I should do first is kind of add another stripe in here. I think the 
tip of my pen just split, so. Oh, goodness, okay. Looks kind of like she has a wig. It's okay. And then you can change, make some stuff a little thicker if you want. So since I did a little stippling on her lips, I'm going to do a little stippling down here. I like little dots. Just to, to add a little bit of texture, visual texture. So, maybe she just has a dark tail. <laughs> so, you get the idea on this one. Okay. Okay, so you can see that I added a little bit more to this fish. So, by taking, I actually took this pen, the fine point, and added some heavier black, which actually ties into the tail and added a few more. I did some stippling in here. The reason why I did this off camera is because typically, I know we usually have an hour and a half for class, and this would normally, you know, take me a really long time, but I know you guys don't want to sit here for that long. Uh -huh. So this way I just did some extra. So it takes a while for your fish to come together and don't worry about it because eventually it does. And even parts of it that you didn't necessarily like a lot initially because we are embracing the mistake and we just incorporate it into the de design. So I took the fatter pen and did just did circles along in here, which actually helped. And then by adding some other heavier darks, it kind of ties the tail in then to the rest of the body so she's coming together and so now, now I'm going to do an example of another one where this it's it's kind of a little more traditional looking fish for those of you who don't want to do fancy diamonds or wild shapes or a fantastical fish though they because they're all fun just whatever you're doing so I've also I have drawn this fish out and have the basic parts, so I'm going to go ahead and start outlining it. And here again, just kind of relax, don't worry if it's not perfect, that's totally fine. This is not about perfection. You're just getting in the main parts because, see, I've already gone, woo. And I, this mouth is a little bizarre too, so it's okay. There's all sorts of funky fish in the world, so. And I know you all will take more time and and I'm just trying to show you some different ways of doing it. But you all are a creative bunch, so I know your stuff that you're going to make is going to be amazing. So I'm just kind of going around and getting the... Whoop. See, look, I'm not even worrying about whether I have it straight or I'm just kind of zigzagging along here. And like I said, trimmers are totally cool. So as long as I have just the basic suggestion of the lines that I want, that's what's working today. On this, this fish, I'll do a little more of the cross hatching and hatching and stippling. And, and you all can do whatever you want when you do your... So you can put hearts and rainbows and curly cues, zigzags, lightning bolts, whatever you want in here. Just have fun. But I'm going to kind of stick more with, like I said, hatching and cross hatching. Just to, I'm going to have some other stuff in here too, but this will just kind of give you an idea of a little more structured 
line work. So I'm just gonna go on in around here. And see, I'm not even necessarily following exactly my pencil lines, just because I like wiggly lines, so. I, if you guys have you not know, figured this out by now, you know, I'm, I like a, I'm pretty loose when I'm drawing, so. <laughs> so, see, like I'm not even lining it up exactly, and that's totally fine. So, just kind of get in the basics and figure out how, you know, what you kind of want your fish to start looking like. And see here, I kind of went, whoops, don't worry about that, just keep going. And as you all know, like with evidence from this other fish, it just takes time. So it's not going to take you five minutes or even ten minutes to get done. It's going to take a while. And so I'll work on this guy's eye here. But see, I personally, th I like when stuff is uneven and a little funky. But I know there are some of you out there who like it very perfect and precise. Sheila. <laughs> so anyway, that's why we're a good balance. Okay, I do like the idea of having, you know, because a lot of some of the fish fins have stiff bits in there to kind of, so, you see I'm still not even exactly doing, following my lines, I think that's fine. And see, look, oh my gosh, I went over that, that's totally fine, don't worry about it. Because this is just the beginning. Okay. And I, because I do like all of the lines and the fins and the tail, I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And then I can change what I do with them later if I want to. But for right now, I like the way that this looks. So, so this right now, this is really easy. You're just doing line work. Just getting in your basic shapes and then just kind of setting up the lines and the fins and the, he has got, he does have a gill, but like I said, this is a totally fake fish. You can make it however you want it. Okay. And it, you can always erase your pencil lines if that bothers you while you're doing your pen work. That's totally fine. So I'll take a minute. Because if you did a pencil mark that you're like, oh, I don't know why I did that, then you can just, and if it's throwing you off, then just go in here and erase. So, okay. And two, at the end of it, you can totally you can wait to erase at the end and clean everything up at once or whenever, but okay. So let's do a little, we're going to do a little cross hatching or hatching. So I like the idea of doing some down here. And like I was talking about earlier, if you want it to have more of a three dimensional feel to it, you're doing, I'm going to do it a little bit on a curve. So see how I'm kind of curving this so that, the because fish are, you know, not flat, but a fake fish can be totally flat. <laughs> and I'm also just kind of, kind of making up my own shape as I go, like I'm not following any particular line. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a curve, not anything major, but... And they can be longer or shorter. So I'm just kind of curving with the fish. So what I what I'm gonna do now is I'm kind of go so for cross hatching, then I'm gonna see what the best angle for me to do. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. What I'm going to do is kind of follow the contour of it, just because it's a little different. And I'm just kind of overlapping lines. 
But I'm also, when I'm doing, when I'm adding these lines, I'm also doing it on a curve too. So that also dictates how it looks on the fish. Making the fish, you know, looks kind of concave and convex and it kind of, see how it kind of gives a real kind of three-dimensional wave to the fish? And you might not like that, so then don't do that. <laughs> Just giving you options and ideas, so. This is just a way to do some nice shading on your fish. And you can just do short lines. And you can do... So there's really any... It's totally versatile. You can do it any number of ways. And so you can add little short lines on top of these longer lines to add some other visual interest. And this is basically just for you to kind of get in here and practice and see what kind of mark making you like. Some people, you know, cross hatching is great for adding value and shading. And I think it just is a really interesting visual texture. And the more and the closer you put your lines together, the darker it gets. So it gives it a real kind of shadowy look. And see, you can add more lines in here. But you just have to start somewhere and get some lines in there, and then you can kind of figure out what kind of look you like. And then you can go, ooh, I don't like the way that looks down there. And that's okay, just change it up. But I like using the little, the ultra fine point because then. Like I said, you can still get darker with it, but there's something about it that just the buildup of this little pin is not quite as in your face as the big one. And then you can kind of step back. Sometimes you need to step back and give yourself a little bit of perspective and go, huh, sort of interesting, but not really. So you just keep going and figuring out what you want to do. Sometimes in this, less is more, and sometimes more is more. Just kind of figure out what you want to do. And like I said, this is not going to happen in 10 minutes or even 15 and not even 20. It's, this is a process that is just a buildup of line and you just keep at it and then it does eventually come together. Plus I kind of find this stuff is kind of like uh, therapeutic and just kind of get in the groove and kind of zone out and kind of be pretty zen about it. <laughs> because I love like doodling, that's kind of what this makes me think of. And see I said that I was going to make this a little more like a realistic fish, and anyway he kind of is as far as the shading, but you can still have wavy funky lines and it's not a traditional fish, he's more of a He's not an exotic or tropical fish. So, but see, you get the idea and just experiment with different kinds of mark making. Do short lines and long lines, and then we can come in here and add some other lines in between these to kind of make it really stand out and just look a lot more detailed. But look, I'm not even measuring. Obviously not. No need for rulers. I know some of you are itching to get out your rulers, but no. But see, look, that looks even more interesting than just this up here. Just adding those extra lines. And then, so maybe on this one you want to keep it simple just by adding more lines on the um, fins. So then just do that with these others. So it's just, just adding. not have to be perfect. 
But see, it's coming together, so this gives kind of a sense of... And you can make... And this fish can even be darker. So... Or you can have just big weird spots. We can put big funny spots on him if you want. Or not. Hmm. I just kind of think. So let we can do some other. We can do some other stuff in here where we're just kind of doing some cross matching. We're gonna do some other cross contour lines up here. That's just where we're doing some. Angles and stuff. Still kind of in keeping with the kind of more three-dimensional look of them. Mm -hmm. This one is really pretty loose. But see, you don't have to do really long lines all the time. You can do some short ones. See, like I'm doing some short ones in here, kind of coming back and... So, even still, yeah, so this one looks a little more graphic down here, and that's totally fine, we can, let's see, I made this a little more stylized than these, but that's alright too, so I can just kind of make this more like a stripe in here, but you just kind of play around with what you're doing to kind of see. what you like and what you don't. So since we did some stripes here, we can kind of work on this this top top fin having a little more stripe-like effect here for visual look. So I'm just going to see what happens here. Okay. And just take your time. And like I said, there's no wrong way to do this. That's the fun of line drawing and things. So anyway, um, yeah. so we're just gonna keep on going. Anyway, and our music will come. Yep, there we go. So, I'm kind of looking at this, I like a lot of these lines, but I'm not really sure about this stuff down here, but that's okay. What I can do is just kind of, kind of keep going and I'll do a little stippling. And you know, what you can do is like stippling or little short lines to kind of break up this line. So, what I'm going to try first is just kind of see what happens if I go across that line and just kind of break it up. So that takes away the hard edge of that line. So let's see. And then I'm just kind of whoop. Go on like this, like that. Then I think I made it look like that fish has a scar. <laughs> he just got stitches. But that's okay. I'm sure there are some fish swimming around that do have scars from boats and stuff. So now I'm just kind of going in here and filling in with some stippling. This kind of creates some shading, but, and it also, this can break up that line too. So, all right. And the fun thing about this is that when you don't think about something too much, you just kind of make it up as you go. There's something freeing about that that you just kind of go with it and see where it takes you. And this is just part of getting used to just drawing, because the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll become. As you all know this, you're good at, you guys can do this. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. 
And then once you get enough of your line work on here, then you can kind of really get a sense of what direction your fish is going. And then if you like, then you can kind of figure out if you want to have a lot more dark somewhere, or a lot more, you know, different bits of texture. So that's part of the fun of figuring it out. So, all right. Hmm, still gotta work with this. Yeah. I'm still gonna think about this in here. So, and plus, you know, you can think about things and move, you know, when you're thinking about one thing, like what to do with a certain part, just move on to something else and kind of add to it and see. What happens. So, all right. See, it's coming together. It looks, it's starting to get a little interesting. This guy is a little more graphic. This one, you know, he has more of the same tonal quality. So what we can go in and do here in a minute is add some darker dark so we have more contrast. So. Main thing is just as long as you're having fun. Okay. So, but you're getting the idea. All right. Okay, so you can see on this one, I just, I added some more lines in here and kind of filled in some of the cross hatching so it created more, a darker contrast. And then I went in and did some more stippling and added some other short lines to kind of create some movement. And on this cross hatching part up here, all I did was I just added little short lines to look like it was kind of filling in the square. So you can go in there and just go on top of your stuff and so it's not exact. So you don't have to do it. You don't even have to stay in the lines. Just kind of do the short lines over it and to just kind of have fun. So I did end up adding a few more lines up here because instead of having it really be distinctive stripes and then I just added more stippling and out here I did little stippling little dots on the outside of the outline just kind of give it a different texture so really just have fun with this just take your time anything goes and just enjoy the process because sometimes it's the whole the whole point is the process not necessarily the end product, but I think really you'll come out with something interesting that I think you'll like. I love black and white. So just find a fish contour that you like, draw it out, the yeah, outline, just take your time and enjoy it. And thanks for being with me today. And I hope you had fun and then we'll see you next video.